Welcome back to part 3 of our tutorial series. If you have not watched the previous video, be sure to check it out first. Today, we will be creating a particle system for our player. To get started, select the player and navigate to the effect tab. From there, choose the particle system option, the Y position. Rotate the x-axis by negative 90 degrees. Under the particle system component, select the emission and change the rate over lifetime to 100. Choose the shape and set the angle to 0, radius to 0 0.1 and radius thickness to 0. Once you have made those changes, select the renderer and add the default particle material in the material tab. Select the size of lifetime and choose this curve. Change the duration to 2 and check the preworm option. Set the start lifetime to 1 and start fade to 2. And choose the color of lifetime and select this gradient. For testing purpose, remove the ability to move the player and then test the particle system. It's look good. Exit the play mode and go back to the particle settings. Change the emitter velocity mode from rigid body to transform and also change the simulation space from local to world. Adjust the simulation speed. and change the maximum particle count to 500. Make sure to copy the component values so you don't lose them. Right click and paste the component values here. Then add a forward speed of 450 and hit play. If there are any issue, go back to the particle system and change the simulation mode from word to local. Now it looks good. That's all for today's video guys, feel free to customize the particle system to your liking and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will see you in the next video.